Hey, what's up? It's Joey from Leviathan Creative. I'm going to show you how you can use my beanie mock-up to make your designs on your beanie. So let's get right into it. Okay, first things first, you're going to be greeted with this screen. All you have to do is click off of it using the eyedropper or the eye tool or just delete it real quick. So I'm just going to delete it real quick. Um, so you're greeted with this. The first thing you want to do if you want to change the tag, all you got to do is click on tag design goes here, double click into the smart object layer and change it to whatever logo that you have. I went ahead put this little guy out here because that's, this, I thought it was funny real quick. Uh, and then in order to make your design. So if you made your beanie design already, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is go in here, double click into the smart object layer and put whatever design that you have. Uh, so first, if it was this as a PNG and just drag and drop. And I wouldn't just drag and drop. I take it a step further. It's in order to set, really sell the effect. Uh, Cause if you see on this one, if I go ahead and file save, then this is, it looks like this looks like a, uh, you know, like a real beanie. But if I go into the other one, so if I go hit that and I hit file save as or save, um, it looks like, you know, very plain. It, lo it looks good. It looks decent, but it doesn't look, you know, great. So what I do is I go in here and I go into the filter gallery. So I go to filter, filter gallery, and I add two effects. I add the spray strokes and I add angle strokes. So what the angle stroke does is it takes the edges of each, uh, you know, um, edge and it like, you know, makes them a little more, you know, gritty. So for this image, I'm using direction balance 88. You know, you can play with these sliders uh, a little bit, you know, and get the effect that you want. I feel like that's way too much. So I'm going to bring this back down. Um, and then sharpness, you can you can cut that up all the way if you want to. And then the spray strokes really sells the effect. So I'm going to I'm going to go to the spray strokes real quick and turn that on. And you get this kind of like gritty texturization effect without having to actually go download a texture yourself. So I'm going to bring the spray radius down a little bit more and the stroke link down just a tiny bit. I'm going to hit OK. So now that that's done, I'm going to go uh, file save this and go back. And you can see that now my beanie looks a little bit. Uh, more realistic because uh, the texture of the fabric is now being able to intertwine with the texture of the design. So that's how I use my pack. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or hit me up at Leviathan Creative on Instagram. I'll be happy to help. Until the next time, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this video, and I'll see you later.